Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary here once again. Um, today I just thought I'd show you around the Lubuntu desktop. As you probably noticed, I'm not using my regular desktop settings that I usually have. Basically, I had a really bad problem yesterday. I had to reinstall Linux, and Ubuntu was the only thing that I had lying around on the disk. Problem is, my computer is really old, so I can't really get away with using Unity because it takes up way too much power. So uh, instead, I just installed the Lubuntu desktop. Now, if anyone wants to do this, I'll include the terminal commands in the description for you. So, as you can see, it's a very, it's a desktop that's very similar to older Windows installations. It's even got a little run button here at the bottom, so you can put in a command and execute it. Um, over here we have the PC Man FM file manager. Very simple to use file manager as always. Not really too keen on the icon color, but I'm sure we can change that somehow. Over here you've got a browser button, very straightforward, and a show desktop button. Um, an area for two separate workspaces, I'm sure that can be increased. Volume control, you can change keyboard layouts around on the fly. Um, obviously the Wi-Fi button, simple clock with a simple calendar and of course your log out button. So all in all as you can see it's a very simplistic menu, it's very lightweight. Um, I've noticed it's a little bit buggy in parts, this particular part here for example where you change the size. Um, especially these, don't touch these arrows, if you're going to change your icon size do it in the box because otherwise you'll press either up or down and it won't stop it just won't stop uh, changing the icon size next thing you know you'll have icons of 200 pixels and it's a bastard to uh, change it around again so simply we've got the position you can have it at the bottom top left or right you can change the alignment of the icons add a margin you can set this up on more than one monitor which is pretty cool um, obviously the size as I mentioned. Appearance once again very simple I'm just using the system theme right now however you can change it between a variety of, of uh, other colors or you could use an image if you wanted to. You could choose the color of the font and the size just make sure I change that back. Now of course we've got the applets there are a decent amount of applets in here to choose from it wouldn't surprise me if there are more that you could download online and in the advanced column uh, it's once again just a very simple simple thing you can choose the default file manager what terminal you wish to use and you know minimize the desk the uh, panel when it's not being used and of course reserve space and make windows treat this panel as a dock so other than that, there's really not too much to say about this. It's glitchy in parts, but if you are, if you just need an alternative desktop, I'd definitely recommend this. Is there anything that I would recommend more? Yes, XFCE is what I would recommend to you. But if you don't like that, at least this is another option that you can choose. So uh, sorry if I've rambled on a little bit in this, and it probably wasn't as interesting, but. I just figured that I'd share this desktop with you. Cheers.